Hi folks, I've got another tutorial for you guys. This time it's Poppy from the movie Trolls and Trolls World Tour. Um, Sky loves it, so I thought it'd be a fun one to do. It's quite a difficult one, so if you feel need to, you need to pause at any point, please do. And I'd love to see what, what you come up with. Send them through to me. And as always, like, subscribe, and in the comments, um, tell me any other ones you'd like to see me do. And I'll try and get to as many as I can. So for this one you want to start with two quite small circles, just down there like that. You have to remember to leave lots of room up here for her hair. So there's two circles, they're going to be the eyes, and then a little tiny circle there, and then a little tiny circle more in the middle, and then circle around another bit, and then join that up with a larger circle, and you can colour those bits in black. Then what you can do is do some little eyelashes. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And you can thicken that bit in there. Then do a slight little arch going over the top to make the eyelid. And again on that side. Now you want to do a little line, join these two eyes up just there. And then another little line just around the edge of the eye and around the edge of the eye there. And then some nostrils, so some circles going around like that. And around like that. Now what you want to do is do a little eyebrow just up here. Just one eyebrow, don't do the other side because the hair will be covering that in a minute. And this side, just above the eyebrow, do a line coming down like that. Now what you can do is just to this left hand side is a little backwards C sort of shape and then bring a line across for the mouth like that. Now what you want to do is on the edge of here start a line and we're going to go down and then slightly tighter on this side to give her a slightly wonky sort of mouth. Her mouth's not entirely straight. So like that. And then we can do some rounded sort of teeth going across. Just like that. And disappearing behind that lip there and then a hint of a couple more there and then you can shade this bit in now once you've done that bit you want to get a line going across from here right over to here to make the side of her face so we're going to go around and across and stop and you bring a line down across to here that hair and a couple of little flicks to make the hair going out like that and then a couple of zigzags maybe and then you can bring that line down a curve like that on the side of the head so that sort of way then this side you want to do a similar going across to here but just slightly over so I'd say just inside where that eye is but coming down like that And then a couple of little zigzags, sort of scruffy looking the way hair is, and then a line going sort of up but a slight angle. Now you've got that, you want to start up here just down from the hair there, bring a big circle right round and down, and a little hint of that ear there, and the same on this side, so up, around, and down. Inside the hair, a little curve, and a little curve, and then follow the ear shape round, and follow the ear shape round, like that. Now what we're going to do is, just inside this bit you want to do a little arch, like that, a little arc, like that, and some different size ones to make a flower shape, different sort of C marks. Doesn't really matter if it's a bit random. And then you want to do similar this side. Doesn't matter if it goes behind that ear, that's kind of what it's supposed to do. 
and same over here some of the little flowers just behind this ear you only need a couple of little lines just to make that now you want to do is do a line going across and down and across and down and across there just to make that hairband now in the middle of the head up to there do a slight circle and then join these with the top of that hair like that okay just bring that down slightly okay now you want to do a big line going out over here so a big arch for that top bit of hair and a big arch for that top bit of hair join these all right down to there you can join these all with lots of different lines just kind of like they're pointing towards this middle bit and then what you can do is zigzags to kind of give her that pointy hair doesn't matter if it's a bit random and scruffy because like I say that's what hair does done that you can put some lines into the hair so a couple of lines here around here just randomly here and there right, now you've got that head I want you to do just under this side of the mouth do a little line just slightly away from the face there and then connect that with another little line like that and a slight line, line with this eye, a little line like that, and then a line across. Now you're going to do a big curved line round here. I'm going to curve it up and round to a slight point like that, and then under here, join there. Now you can just join that up to make the other shoulder. Now what we're going to do is bring a line out like that and then one slightly down, more down with this one, it's that way and then we're going to join that together with a line like that to make that dress. So I'll bring that slightly up. Now we're going to do a line following on from the arm down here, going down Another one in the middle, more straight, and another one going slightly out like that. And then we can put some little toes on there. Take care of those little feet. And put little soft lines just to put the arch of the feet. Then if you want to, you can put some little sort of wobbly lines to give a pattern on a dress there. And there we go. Just lines there to sort of give it a floor. And you've got yourself a poppy.